Hello culling friends! Today I want to show you all my completed uh, pictures for three winter months December, January and February because I don't do such videos every month and show all my pictures only seasonally. <laughs> um, let me start with uh, printed pages and the first one is uh, this ox. I colored it for Chinese New Year because uh, 2021 is the year of ox. Uh, this illustration is by Jesh Lee. I like uh, zodiac pictures. I have quite a collection from different artists and um, in February I decided to color this pretty ox with braids. I used uh, color pencils here, mostly Prismas I believe. Uh, the next picture is um, was colored for my uh, Alice Color Long Mad Hatter. Uh, this is by Mrs. Pegatti Art from Etsy. And uh, this uh, paper uh, it's uh, sketch for sketches. And um, I was not satisfied how Prismas work on this paper or even Polychromos. And then, a long time ago, I got these pencils, Stabila Original. And I tried them only one time in coloring book, uh, Kirby's, Kirby Rosanis. And they behaved so terribly, they were scratchy, uh, leaving such scratchy marks on, on paper. I was like terrified, you know. And I never tried them again. But when I color on this paper, and again I was not satisfied with uh, Prismas, how they work on it, and then I decided let me try these Stabila pencils, and I was so surprised because they work perfectly on this paper, very bright and juicy, and um, giving the their pigment very easily. So I was. Uh, amazed you know and so I'm very happy because now for illustrations printed on this paper I can use these pencils and they will not be left on the shelf without any use. So once again you can see that for that every pencil um, for every pencil you can find suitable paper. So all the, everything on this picture is colored with these Stabila pencils. Uh, this illustration is by Genove Art from Etsy. Again, it was for Chinese New Year. A girl with um, cow toy. Everything colored with pencils. Mm, only for her hair I used aqua markers as a base level and they then worked with pencils. I really enjoyed coloring uh, this picture and um, it was very quick and easy coloring. I was surprised I guess um, this artist style uh, suits me very very well so I'm planning to buy something else from this artist. Uh, this one was colored uh, by for one of Sammy's uh, challenge prompt uh, when you need to color uh, to divide a, a picture um, and to color below part in gray scale and upper part in colors. And I found this uh, illustration by Charlotte Do, a card lady. It, it was written Hope here, so my uh, version is like here. I wrote No Hope and where it, when there is no hope then the world is like this, no colors in it. But 
when there is hope, there are always colors. Because I didn't like this prompt actually, um, but when I found this picture, so it it made sense, you know, <laughs> to divide like this and uh, yeah. Another illustration by Charlotte It was again for same as challenge uh, to color a picture with written words on it. Peace, love, never go out of style. These are very simple illustrations, but I have I have fun coloring them. You don't have to think much, but use any colors. This is one of my winter illustrations that I colored in winter and I have two winter illustrations completed. I don't know what is always with me like this. I want to color more winter pictures in winter but no. <laughs> then there is always something else. But at least uh, I managed to color this one. Uh, this picture has a um, vintage vibe about it. It's by Mark Coyle, Animal Portraits coloring book. You can find it on Amazon and also in PDF on his site. Very easy and enjoyable coloring it was everything with pencils and uh, white gel pen to cover black lines. Another illustration made for Sammy's challenge. It, uh, the prompt was to color a picture on toned paper. I managed to find only this bright blue paper <laughs> and decided to color um, an illustration printed on it. And this ship is by Marina Horbachova from Etsy. She's very cute and it was an interesting experience uh, to color on such paper but I don't want to repeat it really because um, it was a bit annoying because all the colors behave look different on this paper, uh, sometimes unexpected. But on the whole I like how the picture turned out and the ship is very cute. Uh, this one was colored um, for finishing. 2020, Goodbye 2020, illustration by Arcadia Jones from Ed Sim. There was a lot of hair work <laughs> on this illustration, but good practice. I did uh, a cool marker a base level and then work with pencils. And this one is by Selina Fennec, uh, Dark Fantasy, one of her latest coloring books and I really love it. So beautiful illustrations and um, very interesting uh, topics of each illustration. And one of them is this one with werewolf and his mistress. Here I used colored pencils and um, Doran graphite tint for for the background for this part. Uh, now let me show you the simplest works that I colored during winter. Uh, they are from the mindfulness coloring book. I try to color in the evenings when all my cats and kittens are around and my grown-up cats they don't bother me much but kittens they of course 
running all the time, jumping, and uh, it's very hard really to color when they're around. But I try <laughs> to do at least something simple. And this one was colored for Valentine's Day. A rose's heart. Nothing special, just to fill the picture with colors. Used markers only here. Uh, this one is already like spring illustration. Here is one of my kittens. Helped me a little bit. <laughs> Then this one was colored for Valentine's Day again. I wanted some mandala with hearts and then found this one. And then I used uh, four colors like um, this red heart, uh, color of hearts. Then this dark red, it's like roses. And two shades of uh, brown like milk and uh, dark chocolate. <laughs> And I like how it looks in the end. And the last one is my second winter picture, this winter mandala. <laughs> I draw some snow kind of on the borders. The next picture is from Myth and Magic, Kinuka Wycraft. I, I colored it for um, February color along, Hugs and Kisses. I had quite a big choice of illustrations for this um, color along to color. and It was hard to choose, but then I decided since I want to finish this book one day, so I should use every a chance, every opportunity to color in it, so I decided to choose an illustration, illustration from it. And I chose this one, Cool Beloved. And it took me quite a long of time to finish because of all this amount of small details. When you look in the whole air, like what is there to color, not not too much. Uh, but when you start, I will show you closer. And there are so many small leaves and stars and some small animals and you can see mushrooms there. And uh, it takes not, it takes time not only to color, but you have to choose uh, colors correctly that all the illustration look uh, nice together and here look here there is also a couple kissing <laughs> so I thought it's perfect picture for hugs and kisses theme there is an owl also so all those details took a lot of time and so after that I was not in mood to color any other illustration for uh, my color long uh, but I'm quite pleased with the result how the picture looks at the end I think everything in harmony and looks bright and uh, beautiful and here I used uh, markers and fine liners and pencils and even acrylic paint for these yellow flowers and these yellow stars. Uh, the next illustration is from Mythos by Patrick Alvarez. It is one of my new coloring books. I got it in January and I like it so much and I was so excited that I started coloring in it straight away. So far I managed to color only one picture. I plan to color another one for Valentine's Day by, but again no time. Um, so far I, I did this goddess um, protector of fishermen. You can see fishermen here. And 
I really love this artist and his style is not quite known in coloring community and that's a pity because he's very talented and this book is dedicated to Filipina mythology and as you know I really love this um, topic mythology so I was really happy to find this uh, coloring book and uh, I used colored pencils here only and white gel pen of course to cover all the black lines on the waves and uh, pencils work nicely on this paper I'm happy about that uh, the next book is Gods and Beasts by Adam Fisher this is one of the books I would like to finish one day too so I try to color in it quite regularly and I did this cat I used only markers and uh, aqua markers for the background I didn't work with pencils over it here so it's quite quite simple illustration and the second one is this uh, heads guy here I did work with uh, pencils over markers uh, this is my second uh, new coloring book that I've got in January and this book I, I wanted for a long time and I was so excited to get it finally so I started to color it straight away straight away too and I completed two pictures and I plan to do at least one illustration every month in this book and the first that I completed here was this Apsara dancer from Cambodia I was curious about the paper because it, it it's very smooth but I was surprised because this paper is just perfect for color pencils it, it's so easy coloring um, I think I never experienced experience such easy color pencils coloring in other coloring books as in this one so I'm extremely happy because I love this book and uh, to have such nice paper it's uh, it, it makes me even more happy <laughs> And the second picture I did this uh, this book belongs to. I used mostly uh, polychromos and fine liners for these smallest flowers. Really enjoyable coloring. The next picture is from Joanna Besford's World of Flowers. It was my whip for a couple of months, but then I finished it before New Year. Uh, this wallpaper style page with different flowers. I have a video with the process of uh, flowers coloring if you are interested. And for the background I used the Stedtler metallic marker in blue. The next picture is from the Book of Beasts coloring book. And here I completed this Phoenix bird and I used artist brush pens here and as well as um, watercolor pencils and Derwent ink tens and I was surprised how good these medias um, work on this paper uh, the paper is rather smooth and I colored another page before with colored pencils and I was not that happy it was not that easy to get pigment from 
from the pencils but these materials perfect so I make a notice for myself to use um, ink tents or watercolor pencils or artist brush pens in this book and that was the last page from all the pages that I colored in the winter I would be glad to hear what uh, what is your favorite illustration of mine and um, thank you for watching that's all for today see you later bye